Hey guys, so today we are going to be doing something very different. Wait, right, and before, hello. Uh, and basically, um, wait, I think that wasn't very, very good. Hello. Okay, there we go, that, that was about. Okay, so today I'm going to be doing something that I've always wanted to do since I was a kid, and that is building a massive Lego Star Wars mock. And this is going to be for my stop motions. I mean, already here we have like a droid vehicle. If you can see that clearly, yeah, I think you can. That's droid carrier set from that gift with purchase. Very nice. Uh, I have a few droids prepared and... Uh, just... Uh, I, do, I, I hope I don't spill this. Like a giant pile of minifigs and Lego that I've like sorted out, not really sorted out, but just like took it apart so I can do this, uh, yeah, I have tons of other Lego laying around that I know I could definitely use, but I'd say I might have to get more pieces, um, because I don't think I'll have enough for this build, because it's going to be very massive, I'm going to build this in my stop motion, um, but before we start, I have to tell you something, guys. On our channel, we don't just do Lego building videos. We do Connects building videos, Beyblade videos. We also have another channel called Positive Gaming, so let's start. I mean, first off, I guess we can, like, put our, like, droids right there, right? Okay, so that is, yeah, okay, there we go. We can put our droid carrier here, because that's really all we have for the droid vehicles. Let me see if I can find a few. Yeah, I have a couple more droids there. I'll just chuck these minifigures. I'll do it in front of you guys, so it isn't enough to wait. Okay, so we'll chuck the minifigures in here. Um, and the, the minifigures that we want to use and the minifigures we don't want to use in here. We'll put the minifigures we want to use in here. Okay, so first off, we are going to need some droids. Let's get our little droids over there. Get more clone troopers. There we go. I don't think we might get much done in today's episode. Um, because, well, we, we, we've, this is the first off, this is the first time I'm doing this. Second off, we're, we're just starting, so we need to get a good plan. I kind of started this without thinking exactly what I'm going to do, but I definitely have a picture in my head of what we need to do. Okay. All right, and guys, I built a custom speeder bike that I'm going to be building in a future video. Here it is. It's, you guys can tell me down in the comments if it's accurate. I'm not too sure. There it is. Yeah, I hope it's accurate, guys, because I spent uh, quite a bit of time trying to design it. Okay. Let me take out the minifigure, guys. Okay. Put this here. We'll put the builds that we want to use in the back. There we go. Yeah, I've taken apart the new sets that I've gotten recently. Um... Yeah, the sets that I've gotten recently, and I've taken them apart so I can get their pieces to use, and especially that, you know, that Boba Fett Microfighter set I got? Um, it actually helps because the Republic is dark red, and so is the... 
some pieces in the zinger that might cut it off. So we just have uh, some mini figures. I have to sort this out. I'll take down the weapons, accessories. Okay, so we can get these Imperials out of the way. We don't need them. Okay, so I'll take take out the weapons. I need to sort that out later. Okay, so just put them back. Just take the weapons. That's it. simple. Um, will I take the weapons off the no? Oh, I meant only guns, only guns. And one of my weapons had a. I mean, for this guy, if you can see, like there, yeah, this guy that I have, he's gonna help me quite a bit, cause um, having brick built weapons will definitely help me save some weapons and put them back there. Yeah, all my droids have their guns deattached, and good thing about super battle droids is that they don't actually need weapons because they have weapons inbuilt into their arms or hands maybe even both but I'm um, also um I have like this officer trooper oh and guys this is a beautiful sunshine so yeah I made a uh, like custom camera and pauldron And maybe in like a future episode of building this, um, I might actually show you guys how to make some of your own. Okay. So yeah, you guys can't see the weapons. Okay, wait. You can still see? Yeah, you can. You don't really need to see the minifigures because that is not what we're up to. Okay. Oh, I can just zoom out. Wait. So, weapons, just put them there. And I'll take these so I don't get confused. Oh, so I'm breaking it. Wait. Okay. Well, this is uh, a bit claustrophobic uh, we'll use this green base plate later so we don't need that much of a massive area let me just get this plate over here base no not base plate it's like connects box lid yeah I'll chuck it over here I'll stand here that oh yeah this is like my custom com commander droid. It's like a nice backpack. And you see this antenna I put it on with blue tack. So yeah, I'll take his weapon off. I'll probably take the, no actually no, I won't take the backpack off. Um, I mean, we have like one droid vehicle out of the no one vehicle out of the sets that I'm going to keep, and it's the stop. So zoom. There you go. be keeping this one because we have two yeah, yeah we have two of them I might get a uh, like one or two more of the battle pack before it retires because actually really good okay clone trooper I'm going to 
from him. Oh well, and we're also gonna take out the weapons from the many figures we don't need right now. Cause either way, I'm kind of low on weapons, so I might even order a few custom weapons in the future too. Yeah, this piece is cool. It's from that um, three thirty second battle pack. I'm probably going to get one more of that set because if you didn't know the new 501st battle pack and the 332nd battle pack are retiring at the end of 2024 which is very sad. Got some more super battle droids. Six to be exact. There you go. Six super battle droids. Put them, yeah, yeah. I'll definitely get some more of those battle packs. And guys, um, by the way, the set that I talked about in my four four set haul, um, is the no my you know the set haul I had for Star Wars Day. That video you should go check it out. But I, in the video I said um basically i'm getting another set well that's how i managed to come close to this um trade federation troop carrier without that i would have not been able to get to it which is nice and no not nice i mean it's kind of sad but it's a lego star wars atte set and I've wanted it for a while, like since two years ago I've wanted it and it's coming in a, like a week so you guys should stay tuned for that. Just stop yapping as much and do more building or so sorting out actually. Oh and also guys um Wait, no, wrong minifigure. I think it's already in here. Let's see if I can find it. Or is it in here? No. Oh, another droid. Perfect. Um, uh, oh, uh, another super battle droid, guys. Can't forget about these guys. Absolutely amazing. Got another super battle droid. Wait, so that's six, right? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. That's the sixth one. I thought I had seven. I think it is in here already. Wait, let me check. So one, two, three, four. Should be one more. If I can find it. Probably somewhere in here. So. Lando. Um, that. Uh, Han Solo. ATAT driver. Um. Also, I have this box. Another Beyblade box, obviously. Gotta have some of those. We're gonna chuck the pieces in for now. The big pieces that are kind of taking a lot of space that is unnecessary. So we can kind of get our way to see the pieces that we need, or minifigures that are just hiding. See, so yeah, I've got some more weapons. Um, some of them are brick built and I'll take them apart. Just quickly do that. Let me keep the good part. Um yeah, so a few more in here. Okay. I'll keep these here. It's got a whole nother stack of just more weapons. Star Wars guns, 
Got a pistol, double barrel pistol. Got a regular pistol. You got some Star Wars guns, which you've probably already seen like a billion times. Um, but if you haven't seen what Star Wars weapons looks like, here they are in all three of their new model, because there's actually a couple more, which I don't have. Here they are. Right. Okay, there we go. These are the three newer models. They're not that new, they're like seven or eight years old, but they haven't really been around for as long as um, Lego has been. Yeah, I've got to get out the big pieces. We don't. To be honest, let's just take all big pieces out, not just some of them. Really. Yeah, we're already starting to uncover some pieces I was looking for. Another gun. Um, more guns. We'll take some of these foliage pieces, these pieces. I'm um, probably the, the next set, like really big set, that's retired I'm gonna buy, or like in general, the first big set that's retired that I'm probably gonna go for is definitely gonna be the Ewok Village set. Cause first off, it's got lots of foliage, lots of minifigures and great build and lots of pieces that I need. And really helps me for the Imperial side of Star Wars and Rebel side that I've clearly not even touched. Because I hardly have any. I, no, I can't even believe it. I don't even have a single Sith or even a Stormtrooper. It's crazy. I mean, to be fair, they, they haven't really been released that much. Probably going to get that Stormtrooper mech, Darth Vader mech. And I'm definitely going to get the Boba Fett mech. And the new X-Wing mech. And also the uh, um, Captain Rex's Y-Wing set. Um, that's coming out in like June 1st, I think. You can already pre-order it. It's like such a cheap way to get a Captain Rex minifigure. Apart from... Well, it's not cheap. But the UCS Venator set is the only really other way to get it from Lego.com. I mean, yeah, you can go on like Bricklink or eBay to get it. Twelve pounds for that microfighter set is absolutely amazing. I might even have to get like two. To be honest, I probably would. Cause after that set retires, bro, Captain Rex is gonna go skyrocketing, and I'm probably gonna buy like multiple. Probably have to pre-order it, cause I'm sure people like me already thinking that they're gonna buy them a lot. And that makes sense. Captain Rex in a £12 set. Such an unlego like thing to do. But hey, we won't complain. £12 for a Captain Rex? Absolutely amazing. The only people who will be complaining about that is definitely the people who bought the UCS Venator set just for the Captain Rex. I mean, who would buy a £650 set just for one minifigure? It's crazy. Oh yeah, that's my giant pile of weapons that's over there. I think that's all the minifigures that is in here. Don't tell me I lost the minifigure I was going to show to you guys. Or is it in here? I don't know. It is. I found it. Okay. So you see this minifigure? Seems like just uh, another of my 332nd troopers. But actually, this is one without the helmet holes. It's got the wrong head on. Got this from a friend. Yeah, friend happily gave this to me. Okay. Yeah, it's a really nice minifigure. Um. 
Yeah, so basically, uh, um, he wanted the one helmet holes. I wanted the without helmet holes. So that was a good thing. We have some more foliage pieces and some of those. Get them up. Get out of here. Um, and we also have like the shield build that I'll probably show you. It's really easy. Just need some of these. Wait. Uh, why is it so stuck? Okay, there we go. All you need is pretty much that. One of these. Take this off. It's really simple, but I'll show you in like a later video. Because right now building is not the big issue. I'll chuck that in the builds. I'm really happy how the speeder build turned out. Actually, like one of the first Lego Star Wars builds. I'm like proud to not to like keep in display because right now I don't really have much big sets to chuck on display it's just smaller sets um oh yeah I forgot to set this down I feel like this is good for now I'll probably turn on the comments for this video so you guys can like give me suggestions or ideas to put in this build because all I know is that I'm not an expert at Lego Star Wars but I know you guys are probably because um, I've only started collecting Lego Star Wars in like what 2021 yeah the 501st first battle pack being my first Lego Star Wars set oh have some more guns in here, happily. Some accessories. For now, I was going to think of building, but if we're all over the place, it's not going to turn out well. I'm going to be a little bit different. So we're going to start off with, like, sorting out the pieces. And then for the next episode, it's really going to be just planning and designing how I'm going to make it look. Alright, um... I feel like we should get the minifigures sorted out as well. So, um, for today's video... No, actually, no, we'll do minifigures in a separate video. Same thing with builds. Um, the builds is gonna be, like, after we get, like, the whole base done. So this is gonna be, like, somewhere <laughs> near, like, I don't know, a couple weeks episodes are like 20 episodes in. yeah because this is going to be on the table for a very long time because i have uh blue tacked it on anyway so i'm not bothered to take it down right now i could because there's nothing on it but in like 20 episodes or 30 episodes and maybe even 10 we might not uh be able to really move it without breaking like half of the build um I think today's video is going to be on the shorter side because really we don't we don't have much to do other, other than sorting out because we need to sort out pieces in the next episode like naturally no planning and then sorting out the pieces we need to plan out what we're going to do which we technically should have done in this video but hey sorting out things is way better to do first there's lots of miscellaneous weapons, like these swords, I'll show, I'll show them to you guys. I mean, I could like keep them as easter eggs inside the build. You guys can tell me if you want them to be like easter eggs inside the build. Yeah, and like when I'm finished, I can add a few easter eggs here and there. Not too many though. And a couple play features, because... The play features might be the hardest part because we're going to go for a realistic side and when when you put play features in like a realistic build it's a bit difficult without making the build look slightly uglier or more blocky bigger than it needs to be um and that's like a complete description of what these are like a complete description of exactly what these are these are the new stud shooters i mean they look better um they hit harder not much else to say 
I feel like we should get the minifix kitted out right now. Oh, that is the droids, because then... I feel like, yeah, we should just get all the minifigs, so... First off, let's just give our droids some... Okay, I'll just move these back here. Let's just see if you can... Yeah, I see it. I see it. Let's check them back here, see if it's clear enough. No, uh, you can't. You can hardly see that guy. There you go. Let's move it. Bit that way. There you go. Zoom in. Oh, I'll put it there. Okay. So, here. Yeah, just about the edge. I'll move him here. There you go. So, that's where the minifigures will be. Let's just start giving them their weapons. I'll move over here. Okay. So, droids. More droids, droids, droids. Okay. I think I'll keep it like a bit symmetrical so uh, and it'll look a bit nicer if I actually put gun the straight arm and the I'll keep it one one block one stud difference. So this is kinda like a small droid army, but um um I have a few step drivers so and the pilot the pilots and the strap step drivers are gonna have st straight arms because they're gonna be driving it not really in combat like the other droids there we go Get some nice so we'll just chuck them in here Put them here for now. Yeah, I'll just move them a bit here. Move this up the way for now. Um, I'll take the backpack off the commander guy. Don't really need that. Figure out roles later. It's a bit odd. He has two straight arms. So he bend and bend, bent arms. Oh, and I meant for the pilots and the things. They need to have the bent arms, not the straight arms. My bad. There we go, we need one bent arm for this guy. Okay. So now we can place him here. Just take out all the droids, that's what I'll do. Okay, that's good, that's good. Where's the other AT? The stat driver, I meant not the ATTE. Um. I have a few with just like straight arms. Uh, wait, I'll be right back. Turning out very good. I'm trying to find the in the spare pot so well, that's perfect. Straight arms. You need bent arms. Oh. I mean until the point where I find some Bent arms, we're gonna have a few of our troopers with straight arms. With like both straight arms. So this guy, I found the it's gonna be the other driver, him here. Oh actually I have a bent arm, that's good. We'll give one of our guys a bent arm. I think we only need one more bent arm, which is good. We're gonna have a lot of straight arms after this. I mean, I'll hope we just find or get more of those battle packs or the ATT set comes with some more spare bent arms. Let me just get the gun that will grey or the, or the droid blasters out the way. Just a few. 
FOMO. There you go. And now, we're definitely on the good side, because I thought, I thought we didn't have enough weapons. Actually, I didn't think we had this many. I mean, that's for the... I was thinking for these guys, I mean, we have tons of more Star Wars minifigures we need weapons for, which is not good. Because I might actually buy custom weapons, so that might not be as much of a deal as it sounds, so let's just chuck him here. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of funny. We turned out with one spare gun metal grey weapon. Okay. I think that's good enough. I'll zoom in here. Maybe that's good enough. Okay. Um. What should we do? Oh yeah, clean troopers. We have to fix weapons for our clean troopers. I'll just get out the way the base ones, the ones with like custom backpacks and stuff the brick built ones the more higher ranking ones we'll do those in the next episode because it will be a little bit more complicated okay so we have one two three Doesn't really help. I'll get these shirts. There you go. That's good enough. So I'll just plant the druids over here. Over here. And the pilot guys over here. Okay. That's a good setup of droids. When the ATTE set comes, I'm gonna have an extra three droids. But oh wait, I forgot about the super bot droids. Let's chuck them at the back because they're taller and darker, so they're easier to see. Spread them out a bit more because I don't have as much. I'll put them a little bit further back, right there. Be a little bit uneven because I'm not actually counting, I'm just putting them down here. I'll just move this guy a bit here. There we go. Not evenly spread apart, but just spread enough. Um, alright, so, I ha let me just see how many weapons we have. So we have, what, five snipers? We won't use that many because I have a few specialists and we'll put the these ones at the end. We're just going to give all of these some regular blasters. I'm going to need some more of those long rifles. I'll give two. And those two are going to these guys. So, three thirty second troopers without any special stuff. We'll put the riflemen over here. Same arm. So the riflemen are gonna have them in here, this arm. Alright, so we have three rifles and I need two. Let me see if I can find uh, one more in here. 
If I could find one more rifle, that would be an absolute amazing thing. Because all I need is just one. Pistols and more pistols. Glass stuff. Okay, we sadly didn't find another thing, so we just have to work with three. Oh wait, I can just give one of these guys um make one of them like a heavy like a heavy rifle or a heavy sniper, I guess. Make this guy a heavy sniper. I'll give him like helmet accessory if I can find one. I'll either give him like a sun visor or macro binoculars. Probably a sun. Oh, actually, no, macro binocular will be better. I'll just put that on him. I know you guys can't really see it right now, but I'll put it on. Wait. Why is it so hard to put on? These helmet holes are nice and also horrendous at the same time. I'd say maybe like a overall four, no, six out of ten. They look a bit off. I don't know why. I know people call them off, but like... Genuinely, they kind of are. <laughs> Sorry, just a little sneeze there. Not really little, but a sneeze. I think you guys will know what a sneeze is. She should know. Oh, yeah, okay, there we go. That's our heavy, heavy sniper trooper with his macro binoculars. Mm. I'll also get this five of first guys. Macro binoculars. So I'll get this guy as well. So those are gonna be the riflemen. Those are the guys that are gonna go head first into battle with their rifles. Um Yeah, I don't so this guy I'm going to put over here. Just going to need it for custom backpack to hold one. Okay. So that technically means the rest are going to go. So also I'm going to have these smaller ones for like officers and stuff. The rest are just going to be normal troopers. Okay, and I think we should have like a heavy trooper. So I guess someone with I'm trying to find a good accessory to give them. Maybe helmet accessory. Or should I just give them like a normal blaster? And we'll figure that out next episode. the blasters yeah so we're gonna need more troopers anyways so by the time the those the ATTE set comes probably just gonna make most of them a trooper because we need a lot of troopers A lot of extra space I just found. Much better already. I hope. Put these two shock trooper guys here. So I guess for the shock troopers, because they're kind of like Coruscant guard troopers, technically. We'll have these guys like security troopers. So these guys, 
and um, some other shock troopers that we're probably going to get from the... Let me just give you a quick better view. There you go. So by the time the, the ATTE set comes, probably I'm going to get... After that set comes, I'm going to get some of the battle packs so I can get a few more shock troopers for the base, for the clone base. Because I'm going to have a lot more clones anyways. Probably two more will be nice and I might have to individually get them because then... They would be way too expensive. So yeah, I think that should be it for today's episode guys. Hope you guys like it, subscribe to my videos, bye guys.